Okay, day, howdy everyone. Welcome to another video. I am Theology Matters, but you can also call me Eli. And let's get into this video. So, Trump screwed up. So, I have... So, there's been a lot of problems, Trump, uh, with his pro-life policies because he's walking away from them. So, he was claiming that um, the six weeks was too short and he wanted more weeks, and then it should have just been left up to the states, which is a very passive answer of, I really don't care enough to think effort into this. Um, because six weeks, it doesn't matter of week. So again, not consistent uh, messaging, especially since supposedly he, you know, he killed Roe. Uh, because I, but I, I totaled that to the justices, not him. Um, so he said he wanted the weeks, and then he also had uh, this IVF video for people who aren't aware of what IVF is. It's intro, intro, intro video, intro, blah, 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 fertilization, I'm not coming back. And so um, I'm announcing today in a major statement that under the Trump administration, your government will pay for or your insurance company will be mandated to pay for all costs associated with IVF treatment, fertilization for women, IVF treatment. Because we want more babies, to put it very nicely. And for this same reason, we will also allow new parents to deduct major newborn expenses from their taxes so that parents that have a beautiful baby We'll be able. So we're okay. That's enough. So yeah. So people weren't happy with that. So I pulled just a few. Um, so I I follow this guy Meta Tom Tom Tom's, and you know he, he's still voting for him, which I'll, I'll get into why he's actually correct on that. But you know he was having an issue with it. Uh, Knowles was not happy either. Um, comparatively you can't really tell with Knowles to be fair Knowles is like you could insult him and he'd still be just so um you insult Matt I I'm curious about Matt but anyway so he wasn't happy funny enough I'm bringing up Catholics hey I'm bringing up another one sorry habit um because I am one um so yeah but we had many people of this ilk at least of I'm not going to be voting for Trump anymore nor Kamala um, I'm just not going to vote or vote third, um, state, which there was a lot of people doing that, which I'll get into more of that after debrief. Um, and so, but before I made this video today, he released, he was talking that he's going to be voting no on what he was talking about. Um, so there is maybe some hope um, because, of course, this was a turnaround um, from last night. So, but I question whether or not he's as pro-life as he is, especially with Vance as his VP. Um, and so, with that, I think I'm dropping this. Um, so, and furthermore... I will be making an IVF video because uh, it seems a lot of people are unaware of what it actually is. Um, purely because there's too many Protestants in America. Like, it just is because Protestants, uh, with all due respect, you don't understand what sex is meant for. It's the whole reason you all wear condoms and you're gay. Um, which is kind of factually true like the methodists and then of course you just you don't do contraception anymore like you guys can wear condoms i thankfully will never have to touch those for every good reason in the church and also because i'm i'm not finishing that joke um but yeah so obviously no one was happy that he was walking away and there was a bunch of people and this isn't the first time a lot of people were not happy that he was walking away from his pro-life views because everyone you know credits him with the row kill i don't um you know i i again i i leave it up to the justices they were not duty bound by trump they were duty bound by the law 
um, and the law they made, which then killed Roe. So, um, but yeah, but I, I do not see it to be a fruitful endeavor to not vote for Trump. Um, if you're going to be a Republican, cause it's a lot more Republican. So that's where this video is going. And honestly, this video isn't going to be for like whether abortion or IVF, you know, whether or not it's good or not. Like, that's not what I'm going to be making a case for of anything. Um, that would be like the IVF would be another video that I'm planning, uh, maybe tonight to do, but here's the issue. So I will be voting for Trump, but I live in Oklahoma. There's a fair chance I don't have to, but I am anyway, just on principle, because I always hold to the belief of if you don't vote, you can't bitch because you didn't partake in your civic duty. Um, which I found out that about 40%, I think it was, are people aren't registered to vote, which I think is just an insane number. I think that was like 2017. So I sincerely doubt it increased. Uh, people tend to take a long time to change or it's a sudden thing, which I guess COVID could have been a sudden thing. But anyways, so I will be voting for Trump because I'm not going to vote for Kamala because Kamala's going to be worse. Uh, I can't vote for Robert Kennedy because I'd rather vote for Trump. Um, and I'm not going to, and I am going to vote because I must do my civic duty. Um, because I must choose the best evil, or I'm not even going to use the lesser of two evils, but I must vote for the best candidate. It may not be the candidate I like, but it's a candidate nonetheless. And that honestly gets me into my more points. Like, yes, you need to be voting for Trump, but here's the thing. If you're mad about what Trump is doing, then there's two things. Sorry, one. There's just one. There's just one thing. If you're not liking what he's doing, then do something about it. And I know that sounds really dumb and like, says the guy who's behind a camera, because I complain about people. Um, if you go on my Twitter, speaking of that, if you go on my Twitter, <laughs> You'll see me ragging on, like, I hate every political candidate. You'll see me ragging on people that it's like, this is a bunch of words. There's little to none action. And so to get a little personal somewhat, so I'm going to show this. This is a Twitter account of nuclear conservative Eli. Guess who runs this account? Because yours truly was tired of a bunch of this bull that politicians give. And so in, uh, uh, it was my junior year, so it was what, like maybe two years ago? It was my first, after my first junior semester, I basically said, I'm gonna be running for office. I just am, because I can't trust others to do the job that I think they should be able to do. And so, you know, the only person, because I'll be able to yell at myself, um, I do, today and every other day so what's different of when i'm a politician so um so i was gonna run for the oklahoma house i had to back out because i got over stressed but i plan to do it next time so that's gonna be into it's gonna be in two years which i'm not happy about but i i kind of had no choice now and here's the thing i'm doing this i have a two degrees in aerospace and mechanical engineering. I'm not a politician. I quite literally went to like a completely different field. I am nowhere near pol politically savvy. You know, I'm I'm not supposed to be there. Hence why I had the campaign slogan of the anomaly because I wasn't supposed to be here. I'm young. I'm only 23 in two weeks or so. Within two weeks, sorry. Within two weeks, I'm going to be 23, which, you know, I'm young, very young. Um, I'm not a political guy in the sense of I didn't get a political degree or um, well, political science. There we are. It took me a minute. Um, I didn't breed like I haven't been bred from a politician. Right. Um, that sounds weird, but you get the gist. Um, like I shouldn't be there because I also have a mouth to me for good reasons though and i i do have a filter it's just not enough of a filter uh for some people 
but you know some people can kick rocks um, because they probably are stoned by them in olden days. So, so I bring this up because what I'm about to say is, okay, so you're not happy with Trump. What are you going to do about it? Because that's the question that you need to be asking. If you're not happy with Trump, then are you going to be another Trump? Now I remember why there's two. There is two. If you're not happy with Trump, then you need to do something about it. If you're not happy that he's bulking on the pro-life principles, then you need to be the pro-life candidate. That is what it is. You just need to get out there, do your duty. You can run for office. I can tell you from firsthand experience, you can file out, you can fill out a candidate filing packet. You know how I know that? Because I almost finished it. <laughs> but not even that. I got this close. I had a cashier's check. I had everything going. I was ready to do this. I was ready to do it and then no. College got to invest me because I was still in college at the time, mind you. Um, senior year, engineering, takes a lot out of you. So, and from there, so obviously be the candidate, which I've railed on multiple times. It's like, if you're not happy, then do the job yourself, uh, which sounds like a, which is a heavy ask. But the reason I mentioned the anomaly is because it's an ask that I'm also going to be doing myself. Unlike people like Walsh and Knowles or any other Turning Point, Daily Wire, um, I'm missing one, GOP, MAGA person who it's like, they're not doing anything other than doing exactly what I'm doing tonight, which is a video of for YouTube and Twitter and possibly Instagram. So, and what, what are they going to do? Like, you can get silenced. Right. Like, you know, there was a huge thing about, oh, Twitter's open now. Um, but YouTube can be suspended for crying out loud. This video could be taken down the moment I upload it. My entire channel could be removed still with YouTube. And so that was my first point. Technically, it was my second, but I forgot number one because I didn't write it down. And so my other first point is and so the first point coming back to it is if you're not happy with Trump then there's no one to blame but ourselves. This just is what it is. If you're not happy with Trump, then you should have voted for someone else because Trump was primaried. He was primaried, but no one was going to listen because MAGA went la 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 la. So, yeah, vote for another candidate. But of course, MAGA was too much, you know, I can't make that hand signal. Um... They were, mm, how do I put this politely? They were gaying Trump. That does not, that sounds weird in more levels. It works in my head because I know what I'm talking about. But anyways, but if you're not happy, we voted him in. Like, and this is why I say it's so funny with COVID, everyone was complaining like, why would my politician do this? Well, maybe if you paid attention in the first place, because I come from Oklahoma, Oklahoma, where we vote red because you have an R next to your name. But then people are like, why would he do? He's not as conservative as I thought. It's like, well, maybe if you did some vetting instead of, you know, like sitting on your ass and just voting with an R. Um, because to me, if you're, if you're not happy with the candidate, that's kind of on you for not doing a good enough vetting job uh like Langford, like Langford is an awesome example he's also in oklahoma Langford, james Langford literally had an immigration uh policy with schumer uh, schumer you know the democrat that we all hate and whose daughter is gay and he can't burger right um yeah everyone felt betrayed in oklahoma and i'm over here like well, I didn't vote him in the primary. You know why? Because I knew this was going to happen. Calm and collective. Yeah, screw that. No, I'm joking. Um, it's like, like you're surprised. It's like, well, maybe if you vetted more. Like, Langford has a really nice, like, school teacher vibe. You don't think he's a problem. That may be the issue. <laughs> he's not, you know, a... Not a loud mouth. He doesn't like I only remember him like I remember him because I'm in Oklahoma. I don't really see him anywhere else. For crying out loud, 
if I don't hear about a senator or like a House of Representative guy in the federal government and I'm like, who are you talking about? It's probably because I've never heard of the guy. I have never heard of the guy because he has done nothing of like value. Like I'll I will mention like Bobert. Um, there's uh, MTG. There's Cotton. There's Jordan. There's. Um, crap, I'm thinking of my guy. Mollum? No. Mullen is a senator. He's the he's my other guy. Uh, frick, I'm seeing M. I'm also seeing a B. I don't remember. But they're they're like AOC. Like, if I don't know the senator's name, there's a high probability that he's shown up once, and that is the only time he's probably gonna show purely for re-election purposes. Because there's too many politicians who are politicians and not people, and that's why I'm the, also the anomaly. It's like, I'm gonna be a normal dude, because I am. I'm, I'm you, I go home after work, because, well, that that's where my family would be whenever I get that going, which could, I, I don't know how long that is, only Lord, God knows, quite literally. Um, but to, to reiterate my main sure two points, because I think I'm done. It's if you're not happy if you're not happy with Trump, then you need better candidates. And if you and if there is no good candidates, because you think you, um, they're horrible candidates, then be the candidate, which I don't think is a very like aggressive attitude. I feel like it's a pretty like it's a pretty corporate position. It's like if we were to change this in the corporate world, if you got a guy who sucks at your job, you fire him. And then everyone has to take on more work, but, you know. So, yeah, to reiterate my points. So that's pretty much it for me. Uh, vote for Trump. You're not happy. Deal with it. If you're a Republican, vote for Trump. If you're a Democrat, you're really voting for Kamala. Name me a policy decision, which you're probably not. Name me a policy. You probably can't. Oh, so you can dislike this video because I, I, I saw two people dislike my short. I thought that was funny. Uh, I have limited numbers, and the fact that you're doing that is kind of funny. Um, so, that's it. Do, do the tasks that you need to do for politics. It's as simple as that. Vote for Trump. And if... If shit hits the fan, which was the major reason why the anomaly came to existence, is because shit hit the fan. So get your ass off your chair, get off your ass, get off Twitter, and do something. And I love especially when I, like, not just as a side note, I love it when I see a bunch of these, like, crusader dudes, and they're all like, oh, the world's about to, America's about to die. It's like, bruh, you're literally having a crusader logo. Crusaders are laughing at you. <laughs> They're like, you have no balls. And honestly, it's probably why. So anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Um, please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me here. Um, and yeah, if you want to see an IVF video quickly from a Catholic perspective, um, semi-secular. I'm still working on the works. Still working on the wording. Um, then yeah. But have a good night, everyone. Um, yeah. Peace.